Warner Brothers. Animation is an American animation studio which is part of Warner Brothers. Entertainment, a subsidiary of AT&T's Warner Media. The studio is closely associated with the Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies characters, among others. The studio is the successor to Warner Brothers. Cartoons, the studio which produced Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies cartoon shorts from 1933 to 1963, and from 1967 to 1969. Warner re-established its animation division in 1980 to produce Looney Tunes-related works, and TBS merged with Time Warner in 1996. In recent years, Warner Brothers. Animation has focused primarily on producing television and direct-to-video animation featuring characters created by other properties owned by Warner Brothers. Including DC Comics, the Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Cartoon Studio and Hanna-Barbera Productions. The original Warner Brothers. Cartoon Studio, as well as all of Warner Brothers. Shirt Subject Production Divisions, closed in 1969 due to the rising costs and declining returns of short subject production. Outside animation companies were hired to produce new Looney Tunes related animation for TV specials and commercials at irregular intervals. In 1975, Warner Brothers. Cartoon alumnus Chuck Jones began producing a series of Looney Tunes specials at his Chuck Jones Productions Animation Studio the first of which was Carnival of the Animals. These specials, and a 1975 Looney Tunes retrospective feature film titled Bugs Bunny, Superstar, led Jones to produce the Bugs Bunny slash Roadrunner movie for Warner Brothers. In 1979, this film blended classic Looney Tunes slash Mary Melody shorts with newly produced wraparounds of Bugs Bunny introducing each cartoon. Warner Brothers responded to the success of this film by re-establishing its own cartoon studio. Warner Brothers. Animation opened its doors on March 15, 1980 to produce compilation films and television specials starring the Looney Tunes characters. The studio's initial head was Hal Gear, who had been the original studio's sound effects editor during its final days, and he was soon joined by Frizz Froing, who left the Petit Froing and returned to Warner as executive producer. The new wraparounds for the Looney 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 Bugs Bunny movie, the Bugs Bunny's third movie, 1001 Rabbit Tales and Daffy Duck's Fantastic Island featured footage by a new Warner Brothers. Animation staff, composed mainly of veterans from the golden age of WB cartoons, including writers John Dunn and Dave D. Teach. By 1986, Furling had departed, and Hal Gear also stepped down the following year. Gear was briefly replaced by Stephen S. Green, who in turn was replaced by Furling's former secretary Kathleen Helpy Shipley who would spearhead a major revival of the Looney Tunes brand in the years that followed. The studio continued production on special projects starring the Looney Tunes characters, sporadically producing new Looney Tunes slash Merry Melodies shorts for theaters such as The Duck Sourcist, Night of the Living Duck, Box Office Bunny, and Carrot Blanca. Many of these shorts, as well as the new footage in the compilation film Daffy Duck's Quackbusters, were directed by Greg Ford and Terry Lennon, as well as Daryl Van Sitters. Beginning in 1986, Warner Brothers moved into regular television animation production. Warner's television division was established by WB Animation President Gene McCurdy, who brought in producer Tom Ruger and much of his staff from Hanna-Barbera Productions a pup named Scooby-Doo series. A studio for the television unit was set up in the office tower of the Imperial Bank building adjacent to the Sherman Oaks Galleria northwest of Los Angeles. Daryl Van Sitters, who used to work at Disney, would work on the newer Bugs Bunny shorts, before leaving to form Renegade Animation in 1992. The first Warner Brothers. Original animated TV series Tiny Toon Adventures was produced in conjunction with Amblin Entertainment, and featured young cartoon characters based upon specific Looney Tunes stars, and was a success. Later Amblin slash Warner Brothers. Television shows, including Animaniacs, its spin-off Pinky in the Brain, and Freakazoid followed in continuing the Looney Tunes tradition of cartoon humor. Warner Brothers. Animation also began developing shows based upon comic book characters owned by sister company DC Comics. These programs, including Batman, the animated series, Superman, the animated series, the new Batman Adventures. Batman Beyond, and Justice League slash Justice League Unlimited proved popular among both children and adults. These shows were part of the DC animated universe. A Batman spin-off feature, Mask of the Phantasm, was produced in 1993 and bumped up to theatrical release. The film was near-universally well-received by critics but performed poorly at the box office, 
though it eventually became a commercial success through its subsequent home video releases. 1990-2004, Warner Brothers. Feature animation during the rise of the animation renaissance in the early 1990s, Warner Brothers. Distributed its first animated films, The Nutcracker Prince in 1990, which is a Canadian-produced feature film based on E.T.A. Hoffman's classic holiday tale The Nutcracker and the Mouse King, and Rover Dangerfield in 1991 whose title character is a dog whose look and mannerisms are inspired by his voice actor Rodney Dangerfield. Both films received negative and mixed reviews respectively and underperformed at the box office due to lack of promotion. Three years later after the release of Rover Dangerfield, Warner distributed Don Bluth's Thumbelina, which also received mixed reviews from critics and underperformed at the box office. That same year, Warner Brothers. As well as several other Hollywood studios, moved into feature animation following the success of Walt Disney feature animation's The Lion King. Max Howard, a Disney alumnus, was brought in to head the new division, which was set up in Sherman Oaks near the television studio in nearby Glendale. Turner Feature Animation, later merged and named Warner Brothers. Feature Animation, like all of the in-house feature animation studios, proved an unsuccessful venture as six of the seven films underperformed during its original theatrical releases. The first of Warner's animated features was Space Jam, a live-action-slash-animated hybrid which starred NBA star Michael Jordan and Bugs Bunny. The film featured live-action sequences directed by Joe Pitka and animated sequences directed by Bruce W. Smith and Tony Trevoni. Space Jam received mixed reviews from critics but proved to be a success at the box office. Animation production for Space Jam was primarily done at the new Sherman Oaks studio, although much of the work was outsourced to animation studios around the world. Before the success of Space Jam, a Turner Entertainment-run studio that spun off from Hanna-Barbera were already producing animated features following the success of the Disney features. The first was The Pagemaster, a fantasy adventure directed by Joe Johnston and Maurice Hunt that starred. The performances of Macaulay Culkin and Christopher Lloyd with the live-action segments serving as bookends for the film story. Released by 20th Century Fox, the film underperformed and received negative reviews from critics during its holiday release of 1994. After the merger with Turner and Warner Brothers. His parent company Time Warner in 1996, Turner Feature Animation completed its second and last feature, Cats Don't Dance, directed by Mark Dindle. Which was met with warm critical and audience reception but underperformed due to little marketing and fanfare. By the time of the film's release, However, Turner Feature Animation had merged with Warner Feature Animation and transferred a majority of its staff from said studio. The following year, its next film, Frederick Du Chow's Quest for Camelot, underwent production difficulties and also received mixed reviews from critics. However, its soundtrack received some praise and accolades, including an Oscar nomination and a Golden Globe win. The third animated feature from Warner Feature Animation, Brad Bird's The Iron Giant, received a positive reception from critics and audiences. However, the studio decided to rush its release to the end of the summer with a rushed marketing push. The studio's next film, Osmosis Jones, was another animated-slash-live-action mix that suffered through another troubled production. This time, the animation sequences, directed by Pete Crone and Tom Cito, were completed long before the live-action parts were filmed, eventually directed by Bobby and Peter Farrelly and starring Bill Murray. The resulting film received mixed reviews and underperformed, although it was successful enough on home video for Warner's television animation department to produce a related Saturday morning cartoon, Ozzy and Drix for its WB broadcast network. Following the releases of The Iron Giant and Osmosis Jones, the feature animation staff was scaled back, and the entire animation staff, feature and television, were moved to the larger Sherman Oaks facility. Warner Brothers. Feature animation's final project, Looney Tunes, Back in Action was released in 2003. It was intended to be the starting point for a re-establishment of the classic cartoons brands, including a planned series of new Looney Tunes theatrical shorts, produced by Back in Action writer and producer Larry Doyle. After Back in Action, directed by Joe Dante and Eric Goldberg, received mixed reviews from critics and underperformed at the box office. Production was shut down on the new shorts, and Looney Tunes has been mostly relegated on television until 2021 Space Jam a new legacy. Warner's parent company Time Warner merged with Turner Broadcasting System in 1996, not only regaining the rights to the previously sold Looney Tunes in Mary Melody's shorts but also taking on two more animation studios, Turner Feature Animation and Hanna-Barbera Productions. 
Turner feature was immediately folded into Warner Brothers. Feature animation, while Hanna-Barbera merged with Warner Brothers. Animation itself. Until 1998, Hanna-Barbera operated on its original lot at 3400 Cuenga Boulevard in Hollywood, California, one of the last big-name studios with a Hollywood zip code. Studio operations, archives, and its extensive animation art collection were then moved northwest to Sherman Oaks. Hanna-Barbera occupied space in the office tower adjacent to the Sherman Oaks Galleria along with Warner Brothers. Animation With the death of William Hanna in 2001, Warner fully took over production of HB-related properties such as Scooby-Doo, producing a steady stream of scooby direct video films and two new series. What's new? Scooby-Doo. And Shaggy and Scooby-Doo get a clue. The Turner merger also gave WB access to the pre-May 1986 Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Library, which included its classic cartoon library. Droopy, Barney Bear, Screwy Squirrel, and George and Jr. WBA has since co-produced a series of direct-to-video films with Turner which starred Tom and Jerry. Besides producing content for the daytime market, Warner Brothers. Animation also produced Baby Blues with sister company Warner Brothers. Television and 3 South with MTV Animation for Primetime. The series which Hanna-Barbera had been producing for Turner's Cartoon Network before and during the time Warner-slash-Turner merger were shifted to production at Cartoon Network Studios, a sister company to Warner Brothers. Animation. WBA is today exclusively involved in the production of animated television programming and direct-to-video features. It produced many of the shows airing on the Kids WB Saturday morning programming block of the CW until May 24, 2008. These programs included Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue, Crypto the Superdog, Shaolin Showdown, The Batman, and the aforementioned Lunatics Unleashed and Tom and Jerry Tales. By 2007, the studio had downsized significantly from its size during the late 1990s. Warner Brothers. Downsized the studio further in June, shut down the Sherman Oaks studio, and had Warner Brothers. Animation moved to the Warner Brothers. Ranch in Burbank, California. In early 2008 after the demise of Kids WB, Warner Brothers. Animation became almost dormant with only Batman, the brave and the bold in production at the time. To expand the company's online content presence, Warner Brothers. Animation launched the new KidsWB.com on April 28, 2008. The website gathers its core animation properties in a single online environment that is interactive and customizable for site visitors. The KidsWB offers both originally produced content along with classic animated episodes, games, and exploration of virtual worlds. Some of the characters to be used in the project from the Warner Libraries include those of Looney Tunes, Hanna-Barbera, pre-1986 MGM animated characters and DC Comics. In 2009, Sister Network Cartoon Network announced Scooby-Doo! Mystery Incorporated in the Fall 2009-2010 season by Warner Brothers. Animation. Warner Brothers. Animation recently announced several new projects, such as the Looney Tunes show, a reboot of Thundercats, and several series based on DC Comics properties such as Mad, Green Lantern, and Young Justice. Warner Brothers. Animation is also producing DC Showcase, a series of short subjects featuring lesser-known comic book superheroes, to be released in tandem with direct-to-video films based on DC Comics properties. On July 30, 2010, Coyote Falls, a 3D cartoon featuring Wild E. Coyote and the Road Runner was released, being the first time WB Animation produced theatrically released content since The Karate Guard in 2005. And the first time the animation studio used full CGI and stereoscopic 3D. Two more theatrical Roadrunner cartoons have followed during the year. On June 8, 2011, three more shorts were announced, I Taw I Taw Putty Tat with Sylvester, Tweety, and Granny, which was released with Happy Feet 2, Daffy's Rhapsody with Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd, which was released with Journey 2, the Mysterious Island, and Flash in the Pain starring Wild E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. All of these six shorts, directed by Matthew O'Callaghan and produced by Real FX Creative Studios are available on the official Warner Brothers. Animation YouTube Channel On October 27, 2014, Warner Brothers Animation produced its first show for Adult Swim, entitled Mike Tyson Mysteries, as it follows retired boxer Mike Tyson, the ghost of the Marquess of Queensbury, Tyson's adopted daughter, and a pigeon as they solve mysteries. The style of the show borrows heavily from 70s cartoons, most notably Hanna-Barbera productions such as Scooby-Doo, 
Where are you? And the Funky Phantom, however it also contains adult language and concepts, in the manner of Family Guy or South Park. While each episode involves a mystery as a framing device, often these are ignored altogether as the plot takes another direction, and episodes sometimes end on cliffhangers which are never resolved. On December 16, 2014, Warner Brothers. Animation Stop Motion Christmas Special Elf, Buddy's Musical Christmas debuted on NBC. Based on the 2003 New Line film Elf, and its Broadway musical adaptation Elf, the musical. The special was animated in stop motion in the style of Rankin slash Bass Productions Christmas specials, such as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. In Buddy's musical Christmas, Santa narrates the story of Buddy's travels to New York City to meet his father. Along the way, his unrelenting cheer transforms the lives of everyone he meets and opens his father's eyes to the magic of the holiday. On June 11, 2018, a new series of shorts, Looney Tunes Cartoons, was announced by Warner Brothers. Animation. Set for release in 2019 on both linear and streaming television platforms, its first season would feature 1,000 minutes of new 1-6 to minute cartoons featuring the brand's marquee characters. Voiced by their current voice actors in simple, gag-driven and visually vibrant stories that are rendered by multiple artists employing a visual style that will resonate with fans. Sam Register, President of Warner Brothers. Animation, and Peter Braungart, creator of Secret Mountain Fort Awesome and Uncle Grandpa, would serve as executive producers. In August 2021, it was announced that Jason DeMarco named SVP Anime and Action Series slash Longform for Warner Brothers. Animation and Cartoon Network Studios. 2013 present, Warner Animation Group in January 2013, Jeff Robinoff founded a screenplay development department, nicknamed a think tank for developing theatrical animated films. Known as the Warner Animation Group, the successor to the dissolved hand-drawn animation department Warner Brothers. Feature animation. The group includes John Requa, Glenn Ficara, Nicholas Stoller, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller and Jared Stern. Warner Brothers created the group with the hope that the box office reception of its films will be competitive with other animation studios' releases. The group is reportedly somewhat similar to Pixar Animation Studios' brain trust in terms of how its members consult with one another and give feedback on each other's projects. On February 7, 2014, Warner Animation Group released its first film, The Lego Movie, a film animated by Animal Logic. It was met with positive reviews and proved to be a box office success. On January 7, 2013, Warner Animation Group announced its second film, Storks, which was originally scheduled for a 2015 release but was pushed to September 23, 2016. On the same day, it announced its third film, Smallfoot, which was originally scheduled for release in 2016, but was later moved to September 28, 2018. On February 7, 2014, the same day the Lego Movie was released, it was reported that Jared Stern and Michelle Morgan were hired to write the Lego Movie sequel. The sequel was announced to be released on May 26, 2017, but later that year, it was reported that a spin-off film featuring Batman from the Lego Movie might take the sequel's release date, pushing the sequel to May 18, 2018. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller returned to script and co-direct the sequel. Rob Schraub was set to direct the film, but was later replaced by Mike Mitchell due to creative differences. In June 2016, the release date was pushed to February 8, 2019. Logo from 2014 to 2021 Storks was animated by Sony Pictures Imageworks and was met with mixed reviews from critics. On February 10, 2017, Warner Brothers released the Lego Batman movie, which received positive reviews from critics. The Lego Ninjago movie, based on the Lego Ninjago theme of Lego toys, was released September 22, 2017. Upon release, the film was met with mixed reviews from critics. On January 24, 2018, it was announced that an animated Dr. Seuss's The Cat in a Hat film was in development as part of a creative partnership with Seuss Enterprises. On May 23, 2018, it was announced that WAG will produce an animated adaptation of The Ice Dragon, a children's fantasy book by George R. R. Martin. Martin will produce and possibly write the script for the film. On July 12, 2018, it was announced that WAG will produce an animated movie about Toto from The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The new film will be based on the children's book Toto, the doggone amazing story of the Wizard of Oz. As of August 29, 2018, Warner Brothers is developing Coyote vs. Acme, a wild E. Coyote animated movie with Lego Batman director Chris McKay on board to produce.
Upon its September 2018 release, Smallfoot received a 76% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes with mostly positive reviews from critics and has grossed over $214 million worldwide. In October 2018, it was announced that a live-action slash animated hybrid film based on Tom and Jerry is in development, and that it would begin production in 2019, with a release date set for February 11, 2021. On February 22, 2019, it was announced that Space Jam, a new legacy, starring LeBron James, would be released on July 16, 2021. Upon its February 2019 release, The Lego Movie 2, the second part, a sequel of The Lego Movie, received an 86% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes with mostly positive reviews from critics and has grossed over $183. 4 million worldwide. In October 2019, Locksmith Animation formed a multi-year production deal with Warner Brothers, which will distribute Locksmith's films. An animated reboot of the Scooby-Doo film series titled Scoob was initially set for a theatrical release on May 15, 2020, but then it was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. On April 21, 2020 it was announced that it would instead go to video on demand in response to the pandemic. It received mixed reviews from critics. A live-action-slash-animated film based on Tom and Jerry was released internationally on February 11, 2021 and on February 26 in the United States in theaters and HBO Max simultaneously. Which also debuted the company's new logo to match with the design of the new Shield logo that Warner Brothers. Debuted back in November 2019. Just like its regular WB logo, which was revamped earlier that year with Lockdown, it is made by Deva Studios, with clouds created using Terragen. It received mostly negative reviews from critics. Space Jam, a new legacy, starring LeBron James, was released on July 16, 2021, and was the first film from Warner Animation Group to incorporate traditional animation. It also received mostly negative reviews from critics. Thanks for watching.